Hello everybody, my name is Sarah Drew. I'm a jewellery designer based in Cornwall, St Austell in Cornwall. I make jewellery from farm materials, so I make, um, when I can get to the beach, I collect things like beach plastic to make a big necklace like this one I've got on. Um, I crochet with ghost net to do bangles like this one. And rivet, see plastic with brooches, big earrings, and set sea glass. Can you see that okay? Sorry, the sun's in a bit for me. Um, sea glass to make rings and pendants. And so today we're going to crochet some plastic bags. I'm going to show you how to make a bangle with them, a bit like this one. You will need just one plastic bag should be enough if it's a normal size one. A crochet hook if you've got one. Any old scissors because obviously it's not very difficult to cut. A normal household iron, a piece of plain paper and a rolled up towel. If you haven't got a crochet hook you could have a go at making one by putting a nick into a pencil. To start with, you need to cut open your plastic bag so that you've got one large piece really. And then along the bottom, make a little snip so you can start pulling strips off to create a plastic bag yarn. Once you've cut them all out, you need to tie them together just with a straightforward knot. It doesn't really matter if it's not really tight because you're going to crochet into things anyway and make it more sturdy. Um, so you've got like a long piece, a very long piece, it'll be seven metres long of plastic bag yarn ready to crochet with. To start doing the actual crocheting, you need to make a loop at one end. Um, so it's basically like tying a knot so that you've got a loop that your hook can go through from front to back. Um, and then get your crochet hook and push it through the, from the front to the back so that it's, the loop is, is hanging on your crochet hook. To start crocheting, bring the plastic bag yarn around the back of your hook and use the hook to pull it through that first loop that was on there. So you've kind of made two loops connected. This is the start of the chain. Keep doing that, bringing the plastic bag around the back, hooking it through until you start to make a connected chain. Don't do it really tight, you want nice big loops so that on your way around the next time you'll be able to get your hook in. Keep going along, make a nice long length of chain. It'll probably end up being about 25 centimetres long actually. You want it to go around your hand easily and then maybe three or four centimetres extra because it does become more dense when you do the second row. When you've got that first chain done, then bend the chain round and with the hook with the loop still attached to your hook and put the hook through the very first loop you made so you're creating a circle because so you've got one loop on your hook and then put your hook through that first loop that you created so you should have two loops on your hook now bring the plastic bag around the back hook it through pull that plastic bag through those two loops that were on your hook so you've just got one loop left on so basically you've created a circle that's going to be the base of your bangle. Then take your hook and go through the next loop along, do the same again, bring the, the bag around the back, hook it through those both, both those loops and then you've just got one loop left on your hook. So it's not like knitting, you don't want a whole row of loops on your hook, you just want one each time. So you're bringing the bag around the back, hooking it through and leaving just one loop left on your hook. Work your way around the bangle, doing that again and again. Don't worry too much where you go into in the loops on your bangle, it doesn't really matter to be honest, because it's a quite a random look really. Um, and just make your way around. Um, I'd say keep going around all the way, get to the end and see if you like the look of it, because you might get to, you might like it that width, or you might want to do another row. I did three rows. When you get to the end, when you're happy with your bangle and you feel like it's wide enough and you've done enough rows, you want to use your hook and pull through the last bit of bag, or you could snip it so you've just got like a short eight centimetre length. Pull that through and almost and pull it quite firmly so you're almost tying a knot really. Um, and that finishes off your work. If you snip it off with the scissors, not too close to the knot because you don't want it to unravel, just snip it off, leaving about centimetre, two centimetres from your knot. 
and that's the crocheting done. The next stage is basically fusing it. So the way we do that is roll your towel up so it's thin enough for you to put your bangle on. Then this allows you to you'll be able to fuse the side of the bangle rather than just the top and the bottom. Okay, put your iron on, probably a little bit hotter than the cool, maybe this second setting, but you don't want any steam. Put your bangle onto the towel as if it, the towel was wearing the bangle, and then lay the piece of paper across the side of the bangle and just press the iron on as you go around. Just be a little bit careful with this because you don't set fire to the paper, so don't have the iron on too hot. But just press the iron on so the heat from the iron is going through the paper and fusing the plastic bag of the bangle. You can't do it straight onto the bangle, otherwise, the, the plastic melts onto your iron and wrecks it. Just work your way around fusing the sides of the bangle. It might take a couple goes round, but you just want it to harden and melt a little bit and then it makes it stiff and last longer. Take it off the towel and then lay your bangle flat on the iron board and just with the paper over the top again, just iron the top. Turn it over and iron the bottom. And hopefully that's quite what most of it's been fused now and stuck together. Allow it to cool off a little bit, take the paper off. And then you, when you're happy with the amount of fusing you've done, you can basically just trim the ends off. So if you've got any ends of knots sticking out, just trim those off to neaten it up a bit. Pull it into shape. While it's a little bit warm, actually, it's quite nice to pull it into shape so it fits you and so you like the shape of it. And there you are, finished. You've got a nice contemporary new bangle to wear to all your Zoom or house party parties. Hopefully you enjoy that and um, it's a technique that can be used to make a necklace or whatever you like really. Thanks for watching and hopefully that's useful and you can get some nice jewellery out of it. Thank you, bye bye.